Hey students, I'm excited to do this one with you today because it really gets to the heart of what exponents mean. Um, a lot of students get frustrated when they go to take the GED. I hear a lot like, why do they give me so many tricky questions? Um, why are they always trying to trick us? And my response is always, they're trying to see if you really get it or if you just have some steps memorized. And that's how I feel about this one. It's like, do you really get what exponents are about? Or did you just memorize how to do the math as some students do? So let's just take a look. It says, which of the following expressions are equivalent to two to the fifth power? So just some language. Uh, let's start with that. A lot of students aren't sh quite sure what I mean when I use that word expression. An expression is just a, some combination of numbers and or operations and or variables the letters i don't see any variables in any of these but um expressions i think of them like math phrases so which of those are equivalent to two to the fifth power now if you did the exponent lesson you may have memorized oh, okay told me first write this out in expanded form what does two to the fifth power mean oh well it means the number two multiplying by itself five times and if you remember that i'm like excellent you can see one of these answers matches what you understand two times two times two times two times two or five twos multiplying and so hopefully you would at least know that b is a correct answer and then hopefully as well you practiced simplifying these along with me so let's go ahead and simplify this by doing the multiplication so two times two is four and i'm so lazy i'm going to multiply as many as i can that two times two is also four and i'll drop what i haven't used i haven't used the times and i haven't used this times two i'll keep going four times four is 16 times two and you can always do this in side work if you're unable to do it in your head, but I do get 32. And so now I can see another expression that is correct. Now, a lot of students wouldn't pick this plain old number because they'd say, that's not an expression. Yeah, it is. It's a super simple expression, but it is some combination um, of numbers, letters. So I'm not going to worry about, it's not like a trick question that I'm trying to trick you that way, okay? Now, from there let's rule out some stuff obviously if 32 is equivalent i'm not going to have 25 or 10 be equivalent that doesn't make sense 25 is not equivalent or equal to 32 no matter what i do and so i'll rule out the 25 and the 10. that being said though i have a whole lot of students who even though they know better even though they've been practicing exponents for a while decide that two to the fifth is the same as two times five. Our eyes will automatically look at this kind of a new thing and we'll just wanna multiply. Two times five, 10, and that's not what it means. So please rule out two times five. Another common mistake is to think that these two things are interchangeable, like two to the fifth is the same as five to the second power or five times five. And that's simply not true, right? We know two times two times two times two times two. I lost count. <laughs> like we just figured out is 32, whereas five times five would be 25. And so don't be the student who falls for that. It's not invertible and i know why you guys think that you think it must be true because five times two is the same as two times five so shouldn't uh two to the fifth be the same as five squared and no because this isn't the same operation yeah they're both exponents but each exponent its own is its own operation so this is the number two being raised to the fifth power. The fifth power is an operation. And this is the number five being raised to the second power. The second power is a different operation. Squaring is a different operation than the fifth power. So it's not like just two numbers or changing around the order of. No, it's one separate number with a different operation. Those floating exponents there represent an operation, not necessarily a number like you guys think of it. So that was long to say. Don't pick five times five. <laughs> uh, 
Next one, let's take a look at, and D is commonly chosen by students, so it must mean the same thing. But careful, to plus two, plus two, plus two, this is repeated addition, not repeated multiplication. I don't express repeated addition using a power. That's not two to the fifth power. I express repeated addition using multiplication. That's two times five, or the number two adding five times. And so, yeah, don't be tricked by D, even though a lot of students are. And then, of course, when I look at the next one, it's the same idea. Five plus five is just 10. That would not work. Now, that being said, you're probably saying, oh, my gosh, Kate, you just talked a lot. I mean, even more than usual. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. But Here's the great news. If you were like, I don't remember all your rules, all your reasoning, all your logic. Well, you know, well, don't worry about it. I guess just simplify it all. You know, let's just um, see. How do I erase all this? Uh, I can't figure it out, guys. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, Let's say you're the student who's like, I have no idea. Well, you could have taken two to the fifth. You could have just taken what you learned from the video and said, okay, well, this is the right answer and this is the right answer, but are the rest right answers? Well, to check, you could have simplified it. Two times five is 10. That's not the same as 32. Five times five is 25. That's not the same as 32. Two plus two, four, six, eight, 10, not the same as 32. 10, 10, 25, and the rest of these you could have quickly ruled out by simplifying the expressions. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.